I just tried to turn the car on by holding the air conditioner button down because I'm old. So I just got done doing a set out here at Tech, um, hanging out with Sonny, catching up on some business stuff. This is cool. That is a wrap for Tech City. Uh, it's about 8.30 at night. I got there when they opened. I played about maybe one set, so about three rounds or so. And then my knees are like, what are you, are you sliding? I slid. I was playing snake. I was sliding, dropping to the knees. I definitely hurt something because uh, my hip, keep in mind, this is what happens when you're 35, about to turn 36. My hip still hurts from jujitsu like four or something weeks ago from doing like half guard passes. So I hurt. I don't know how, walking is going to be fun tomorrow, but I got out there. Uh, so that was nice. It was really nice to get away and not be at my own field, which sounds messed up, but it's real. After about three rounds, Sonny came down and said, hey, give me a big hug. Uh, we went upstairs, talked shop for a while. Him and Terry and Oregon are doing this cool little like shooting, comp electronic shooting competition thing back and forth. It's, actually, it's really cool to see what he's still doing. Uh, talk all you the shit you want. Sonny's probably the smartest businessman in Airsoft and hands that guy's one of my mentors. I got a lot of mentors. I'm gonna see some of them tomorrow and I'm gonna see some of them on Saturday. Sonny is one of my business mentors in Airsoft. Tax City, the way they conduct business as far as like their retail and their event stuff, Tax City has had a big influence on how, and, and Sonny has had a big influence on how I manage True Aim and how I manage Airsoft Ministry. I'm getting that money. I should probably book a hotel room for the night. I just pulled up to the Motel 6 in Rowland. Rowland? Rowland? I think we're gonna die. Bro, do you see this? This looks like a barracks room. It's about 10.15. Just got to the hotel room. It smells like... It's a non-smoking room. It definitely smells like someone did not follow that rule and they tried to cover it up with bar soap. That's fun. Uh, just got back from Denny's and I ordered in Spanglish, which was a new experience. I've never done that before, but you know, Raider Nation is, of course, I speak Spanglish. My knee really hurts. Uh, my left knee. Because I don't know if it picked up in the video because my camera got bumped around. So my GoPro was just in my mount with tension. Like I didn't have this, I forgot this screw at home, so I gotta go get some at Home Depot tomorrow. Anyway, I was sliding around like a 15 year old Asian kid. Like I thought I was Union Young for a second. Just like, wee, wee, wee. It was button hooking, I was turning, doing like takedown drills. It hurt. It hurt a lot. And I didn't know that until I got off the field and started talking with Sonny, that my knee hurts now. So we're gonna do a lot of stand up shooting at N1 tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up probably about nine or 10 Kick it with the speed QB guys for a couple hours. Uh, maybe swing by. I was going to swing by Evic to pick up the rest of our orders that we have. But they're shipping everything out today, so I don't have to worry about that. And at 3 p.m. tomorrow, I will be at the KWA office. My knee hurts. And, of course, what do I still spend at least almost two hours with on vacation? Scheduling private parties. Just checked out of the hotel and I still 
have work to do. So we're gonna eat, I'm gonna get some orders cleared up, and we're gonna swing by e-bike and get some stuff. Just finished Denny's. I actually ordered in English this time. I'm going to Evite to pick up an order we just placed for the field. Then I'm gonna go to Home Depot to get some bolts for my GoPro, because I keep forgetting those. And then I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, at like three, I'm going to the KWA office. And then sometime after that, I'm probably going to the SpeedQB office, or I'll just see all those guys tomorrow at the event. But tonight, I'm gonna go get my ass kicked at N1. It's all standing. No kneeling. Sam, I know this is going to come out after we hang out. You're not supposed to let me do anything in the kneeling. The good news is they're processing the orders that we placed at Denny's. Bad news is in order before I can get the stuff, their upstairs salespeople have to actually process the order before they can release the products downstairs. And even after the order gets processed upstairs, they have to pull everything and gather it. And I'm a vendor, which means I ordered about three grand worth of stuff. That's not just something you just, oh, I'll go back in the, I'll go pull it off the shelf real quick. That's like, oh, we gotta, we gotta get a forklift. We gotta like call people on the radio and do stuff. So, I'm just gonna come back later this evening. Uh, they close at like six, so I don't really care. But instead, I'm gonna go head to Pomona and hang out with one of my homegirls that I was in the army with. I haven't seen this hippie since she was traveling uh, Costa Rica or Panama or building bamboo huts and doing yoga and all kinds. I got some weird friends. And by weird, I mean I have some super cool friends. Bye. So I just left my buddy's house in Pomona. I'm heading to the KWA office right now. And I'm also realizing, oh my, wow, how'd that car get trashed? Anyway, I'm really realizing how terrible this travel vlog is because it's just a series of me arriving and departing notifications, which to be fair, is pretty much how this whole thing's been minus tack. Dude, it's a lot of running errands and seeing people and trying to cram as much out of a couple days worth of time uh, that I can. It was 17 minutes out, that's not, the, oh, not even. 16 minutes, ha <laughs> ha. Yo, uh, how do you people live in LA? There's too many folks. There's just too many people. There's too many, there's, how do you do, this is, no. Why would you live in LA? It's, you're out of your mind. We have sushi and tacos up in Sacramento. Come hang out. <laughs> no zombie. Okay. This is fancy. Look how fancy this is. Yeah, so this is our lab. Ooh. Yeah, KVA conference room. And a rock. This is your conference Top room. secret behind the scenes doing stuff. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. So there is such thing as an A2 from KWA. Why can't I buy this, Thomas? Why? You tell me. They don't want to make it anymore. You tell me why I can't have that. That would make me so happy. Where we do our thing? Right there. Ooh. Why is there a cactus? Is this real? Oh, James, you saw it? No, you didn't see this. It's I, not real. I... So the warehouse kind of reflects the website. Isn't oh, pretty, yeah. Nothing. Dude, no Just. Joke. Just, just nothing. Empty. Dude, it echoes in here. It never fucking echoes. Just walk like around, just touching mat. stuff. Just uppers and parts and stuff and... Yeah, okay. So this, this makes a lot more sense. Safety! Uh, that was actually really cool. A lot of top secret things in the work. What's not top secret is now I'm going to go hang out with the Speed QB guys. Uh, hopefully, if they're still in the office, I should probably call them and figure out where the office is. Yeah, so that was cool. 
a lot of good stuff happening at KWA. A lot of things coming uh, down the pipe later in the year. So that's cool. Some of it involves my field, some of it does not. So we will maintain eyes on the prize. Speed QB time. I have arrived. All right, cool. I'll talk him out. All right, bye. <laughs> Look at that cute guy. Look at him. Filming you, filming me, filming you, filming me. That was it. I don't know why you watched. Let me know in the comments why you watched the video all the way to this point. Because it wasn't that great. I'm going to be real. Uh, the next... Nothing else. I don't really plan on coming back down to LA. I'm pretty sure Airsoft Con is not going to happen this year. I want to try to come back out here maybe in early fall. So definitely not, I won't be back in the summer. So probably like September time frame or so, depending on what's going on. Like September, October. I, I want to come. Here's the, here's the fucking problem when I come down to SoCal. I rarely come down just to chill. It's always like something business. It's there's an event or I got something going. I have something going on in the business world. I don't come down for leisure. At some point, I need to stop being such a fucking adult and just come down, play a field a couple days, play another field on a couple days, and just fucking play. Because the only time I am happy playing is when I am far from my own kingdom of NorCal. I don't want to play all Patriot. I don't want to play at City. I don't want to go to those fields. I don't want to go there. It's too close to work for me. Granted, the other caveat to that is Airsoft in general is just it's work. I'm always I'm always thinking, always managing. I can come down to SoCal. I don't gotta worry. I don't. It's it's a different vibe for me when I come down. So hopefully I get to come back down soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of gameplay I was able to film. And when I was at TAC, I didn't even film at N1. I just, it was, no, wasn't going to happen. I just, I'm stupid. Uh, bye. Kaber, who the f*** are you, nerd?